What's up YouTube, it's Adam from Ami Music Mobile. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to get keyboard splits done in Logic Pro. Now, keyboard splits is basically when you wanna play two or more instruments on one keyboard or controller while controlling individual octaves for each instrument on the one controller. Now, it sounds kinda of confusing, but it's really simple and you're gonna get it pretty uh, pretty quick. So first thing we gotta do is well create our instruments. So I'm gonna create two tracks as we're gonna separate our controller from left side of the controller and the right side, the ones that will be played by my left hand and the ones that will be played by my right hand. So the one instrument that's gonna be played by my left hand or rather on the left side of the controller will be an ESP synth. The next one will be a, let's see what we'll choose, is a retro synth. So for purposes of laying it out the way we're gonna be playing it, I'm gonna put the ESP synth on the left because I'll be playing that with my left hand and the retro synth on the right because I'll be playing that with my right hand on the keyboard. So first step we gotta to do to separate the two so it's set up that way is select the track you wanna start setting up. And under this track section over here, yours might be closed. You wanna focus on something that show, shows key limit. So since I want the ESP on my left hand, I'm gonna go from C minus two on my keyboard to let's say about B2. Oops. So you can go ahead and type this in rather than clicking and dragging down. Now I have an 88 key keyboard right here. Your keyboard, keyboards might vary in sizes. So if I go ahead and hit C3 on my keyboard on the ESP track, it's not gonna play because it's limited at B2. But if I go ahead and hit B2, of course it plays. So now since I set up my left hand over here, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my right hand over here. So again, we're gonna make sure this track setting is open. We're gonna to go to key limit. And since we stopped here at B2 and we only have two tracks, we're gonna go ahead and set this to B3, sorry, C3. And onward. Logic automatically puts it to onward. So if I go ahead and hit uh, B2, it's not gonna play. But if I hit C3, it will play the retro synth. All right, simple enough. But now let's say our ESP synth, the octave is too low. I want it to be an octave higher. Well, you can control that individually, as I said at the beginning of the tutorial. All you have to do is again select the track. That's a little too low for me, and I'm not working with much space here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit transpose, and I'm going to go transpose up here, one octave. Go two octaves. And of course you get the point go down or up octaves as you like, because now the octave up on your keyboard is not gonna play the proper octave that you want set here. It's controlled over here. And the retro synth I'm gonna leave on its own over here. But now if I wanna play these two together, you're gonna have to record arm both of these. So now if I go to my keyboard, my left hand will be playing the ESP, the right hand will be playing the retro synth. And those are both played at the factory default settings. Uh, um, now, if you don't wanna just record on both of these, all you have to do is create a track stack, which is very simple. Select the tracks you want, control click on one of them, and go to create track stack, and make sure you want the summing effect over here. And the record arm will be on the one track or on the sum track, and you can go ahead and basically play this out. And you can go record from there. And if you like, you can also save this as a preset if you wanted to do that. And kind of bring that up as an instance whenever you're ready to record. So that's how you set up uh, multiple instruments on one keyboard controller using a keyboard split in Logic Pro. For more great videos, remember to subscribe. If you have questions on this video, you can ask me in the comments section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys soon. Later.